Reaction on the WKBN Facebook page to the sentences of McNally and Shortino focused on the terms and the ongoing problem with corruption in Mahoning County. Mike said, one year probation is a joke. I know people who received more probation for stupid stuff like fighting. Michelle said, all that money spent trying to convict them and all they got was one year probation. We need all the money that was wasted on trying to convict them back. And Justin said, so corruption, racketeering, and abuse of political power gets a slap on the wrist. Half of you fools will vote them back in office. Here's more of what some people had to say. Julius Oliver owns Kingly Hand Wash and Wax in Borman and Youngstown. Julius Oliver is also Youngstown's first ward councilman. He understands what John McNally and Mike Shortino went through, having once had legal problems himself. Well, basically in 2010, I was indicted on uh, three felony charges. Oliver says two competitors made false accusations, which cost him time and $10,000 negotiating the legal system. He eventually pled to a misdemeanor. Do you feel sorry for John McNally because of that? Um, I don't feel sorry for him, but I can empathize with what he went through. As a lawyer, I, you know, I'm not going to comment on what a judge does or doesn't do. After John McNally pled guilty on February 26th, Mahoning County Democratic Party Chairman Dave Beatrice demanded that McNally resign as Youngstown mayor, which McNally has said he will not do. Beatrice would not comment today on the resignation. I've already issued a statement on that. I would refer you to the statement. Okay. But Julius Oliver had this to say. I don't think a, a resignation would do any good at this point. I mean, he's by far one of the most progressive mayors we've had. And um, I think the good job he's doing should continue, um, especially now that this case is over. Dave Beatrice understands that law enforcement has to finish what they've started, but he would really like the entire Oak Hill ordeal to end. It just is just like an open festering wound. The faster we just move on as a community, the better off we're all going to be. On the matter of getting the Oak Hill case wrapped up, Councilman Oliver agrees with Chairman Beatrice. Oliver says we need to concentrate on moving forward and further progressing the city.